full-size ones in the car. There we go. Now, the materials you're gonna need for this are four random blades, just like that from your, you know, your random box cutter. You're gonna need some super glue or gorilla glue. Heck, even a hot, a hot glue gun might work for this, just you're gonna need some glue. You're gonna need two random gift cards. They're just, these are just Walmart gift cards. They can be Target. It doesn't even matter what kind of card they are. They can be old cutter cards. They just need to be two random, preferably smooth cards. You're gonna need some sandpaper, some rougher grit so you can take away paint and stuff like that. You're gonna need a knife, but any box knife will work, or any exacto knife, maybe just a small knife that can cut very finely. You're gonna need some tape. Just I'm using some duct tape. It's nothing special, just some random white duct tape, and then any paint of your choice. You're gonna, I'm using white and black. Just you know, for the card look, and you're also going to need some clear, just because you want it to be waterproof. You want it to last a long time. So get yourself some clear paint as well, and then let's get started. You're definitely going to want to take a paper towel to your blades, making sure they're not dry. Often blades will come with a, a coating of wax or oil on them, just to make sure it's safe, keep it safe, and keep it nice in the package. So you're going to want to dry it off. Just like that, doesn't take too long, you just want to take your blades, dry them off just like that. Once you have all your blades nice and dry, you can move them to the side, because now it's going to start working on the cards. Now I found that most gift cards will have this clear polish on it, just to make it nice and smooth. Um, you're, not, you're definitely going to want to take that off, so take your sandpaper and just Scrape the card until it's nice and rough. It might take, you know, 15, 30 seconds of scraping. Maybe not even that. And you can check it, make sure it's all nice and rough. And then go to the back side and do the same thing to that. Make sure it's all nice and rough on the back end. Make sure you get all the corners, because the corners are going to be what gets you. Once you get it all rough, all good. Make sure you do that to both. I already did this one. So, if you get to both, then we can start on the next step. Now, you're going to want to take your cards outside. Make sure you're outside of this because you don't want to, um, you know, uh, breathe in all those noxious fumes from the paint. I'm going to start with my black paint. It's gloss. It's nothing too great. It's super fancy. You can get it from Walmart. And then just start painting your cards. Make sure you get a couple layers. Make sure it's nice and the right color you want. Don't let, don't settle for less. You have to get at least two, maybe three layers on these cards for the paint. Now, while your cards are outside drying, you're gonna take one of some of your blades and your uh, your sander, and you're gonna want to stand down at the edges of the blade. Now, not the blade part. And be careful while holding it. Don't cut yourself. But you're gonna go and take your, uh, your sandpaper sand down each side of the four blades. Now, be very careful. Don't rush through this. You don't want to cut yourself. These blades are extremely sharp. They're fresh out of the package. So, you're going to take each one, pick them up nice and carefully, and sand them down the edges. Just so the glue will have something nice to stick to. Something to grapple, on, grapple onto when uh, you, you start gluing. Alright, now once you have your cards painted black, or whatever uh, the first layer of your color is, you're going to take them and you're going to take your tape and you're going to start to cut out at your pattern. Now, the way I did it was I took a piece of tape and layered it over the whole thing, I already did this one, and I cut out my pattern with my knife. So, I'm going to take the tape, make sure it's nice and long, long enough to clearly cover the card easily. You don't want to have, you know, run out of space. And then you're going to lightly lay it on top of your card. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Don't have any air bubbles. Otherwise, your pattern is not going to be quite right when you cut it out. So make sure it's nice and smooth. You don't want any air bubbles. Just like that. Now, 
Then you're going to take your knife, your actual box cutter, or exacto knife, I guess whatever knife you want, and you're gonna cut out your pattern. Now, I want an ace for my card, and so I'm gonna cut out a diamond, just like this. Make sure, draw your, make sure when you cut, cut your lines extra long, pat, so that you'll have the uh, overlap of the cut. So that way when you peel it off, it won't peel off the diamond that you wanna keep, it'll peel off the, you know, the outside. And then you're gonna take it, once you have your pattern, I hope you guys can see that in the camera. You're going to peel off nice and slowly, be careful not to peel off the paint. Make sure you've used uh, some clear coat on the black spray because it'll help when you're peeling off your, your tape. Make sure you get it nice and slow, don't go too fast, you don't wanna peel off tape with it. And it should peel off nice and smooth. Like. For this, I use scotch tape, and scotch tape should work just fine, but painter's tape would work even better and leave a colored tint so you can see it better when you when you do it. So, you're gonna take your cards, and then you're gonna spray on your base, your secondary color. So for mine, I'm gonna do white because I want black aces right here. Now, once you've gone and painted your cards, it should look like this, something like this. Now, I um, made sure to cut out an outline of the diamond and make sure I knew where I, where it was going to be so it would be easier to peel off. Then you're going to take your knife, your box cutter knife, which is right over here, bang, and you're going to cut out the center piece for all of them. Now it's going to look, when you're done, something like this. It's going to look something like this, just like that. And then you're going to, going to uh, clear paint over all of it to make sure it's all uniform and nice and looking nice. Now I'm not going to do this on camera because it takes a lot of concentration and I don't want to mess it up. So. We'll cut back when it's done. Once you finish peeling and giving it its last coat, make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. These are my two uh, black cards. This one I just spray painted this little bit ago. With some clear, this one is the dry one. It's nice and flush. You can, you can mess with it, you can touch it with your hand and it won't rub off, it won't shift around, the paint won't shift around, it's all dry. This is what you need before you move on to the next step. I repeat again, if you move on to the next step without it being completely dry, you will mess your card up and you'll have to start over. So make sure, take your time, do it right, wait, just wait. Now, once you get to that next step, I'm gonna move these to the side. We can work on those later. You're gonna need your blades, you're gonna need your glue, and you're gonna need a, a surface you don't care about. I'm using my kitchen counter, if you can't tell from my stove here. I'm not gonna use that <laughs> to mess up. I don't wanna put glue on this counter. So, instead, I'm gonna use this to have the glue. And also have some kind of heavy uh, object to rest on top of your cards at some point. It doesn't need to be now, but you have that ready. All right, so now that you get your cards all painted, once you have that done, you're gonna take your four blades, your four razor blades, and some glue and go to the next step. You're gonna turn one of your cards over, it doesn't really matter which one, and you're gonna line up your blades how you want them. I know how I want my blades, so I'm not really gonna do this step. You'll be able to see me do it live action, or at least somewhat live action. And you're gonna take your glue, and you're gonna put it on your card, fairly generously in the center. Now you're gonna start, on the edge, nice and neat, thin lines on the edge, and then a little bit in the center, just like that. That's all you need for right now. Once you get that, you're gonna take your blades and you're gonna start to line them up. So your top one is gonna go just like this. Making sure you leave enough room on the edge, like hanging off the card so that it sticks. Now, on the other end, you're gonna put your blade here. Same thing, on, just like that. Now for the sides, essentially the same thing except going sideways. If you leave enough off the edge so that you can have that cutting surface showing when you have the other card on top. Now once you get your blades lined up, you're gonna take your other card and your glue, you're going to glue around the top of the bladed parts just so it will stick nice and easy. You're gonna take your card and easily, very gently, set it on top. Just like that. Because that kind of drop it. So, oh well. Now, make sure you adjust your blades so that they're, they're exactly where you want them because this is your only chance. Once this glue dries, this is all you got. Now, once you have it in place, you're going to take another random piece of cardboard. 
I'm gonna set it on top, nice and gently, so you don't move it around. Then once it's on top, you're gonna take a heavy object, and again, nice and gently, put it right on top, just like that. Then you're gonna wait for it to dry. 